Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to another Transport Fever 2 video, episode 20 something, 5, I can't remember, I've lost track, there's so many, <laughs> what a playthrough, it's getting really exciting now, uh, video description again has all the details, in case you're new here, it has the details of the map and the mods we're using, so you can recreate the whole thing, uh, bookmark the playlist, you can see all the episodes so far, and we've still got plenty more to come. Now, in the last episode, we sorted out some machines, we uh, delivered machines to Biggles Wade and, what was it, Biggles Wade and Worthing, let me just reorient the map, from the machine factory here, we've fully maxed that out now, it's flowing quite nicely, we had another station here to train everything off that way. In this episode, I want to take a look at passengers uh, a little bit more, uh, I want to begin with a question for you, uh, because I'm a little bit confused about something, I'm not quite sure why something is happening, but... I've got some thoughts on it, but I'm really not sure. So I thought I'd sort of see what you guys think. Princess Risperer, okay? Princess Risperer down here in the corner. It's only links to the world are to Ailsham. And many moons ago, I built a train station here, if you remember. And we have a train line running, uh, Ailsham to Princess Risperer. It's just a packed shuttle. And it does its thing. And it does it very badly, because if you actually look at the line finances for the line are absolutely terrible really bad like nobody wants to get on this train and i don't know why the train itself is linked uh via bus this one here this bus just drops people off back in town and they can get buses here same thing at the other end in aylsham there's a good supply of buses to get people around to and from the stations yet for some reason if we was to look at the journeys people are making there is an extraordinary number of private transport, 700 down that road, versus 16 on the train. And my question to you is why? Am I missing something? I, I, have I done something wrong? Is an error here? Because I can't see it. I really can't see it. I don't know why everybody's on the road and nobody's on this train. Answers on a postcard, please. Uh, I can understand it being more you know, more people on this than this, but not to that extent. Like, nobody's getting on this train. Why not? So, anyway, one thing I want to do is link Ailsham up a bit better in the vain hope that that might help with this scenario. I would also want to link east to west, which I've hinted at before. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to link Bradford, because Bradford is by far, if you click down here on the city list and sort by size, Bradford is by far um, the biggest in terms of its size, although... For some reason, it says 2782, and up here it says 3482. I don't quite understand what's going on there. But anyway, Bradford is the biggest. And my idea is to fly people out of Bradford, um, have, a, have a cargo packs run, because we don't really have that at the moment. So I'm thinking about dropping an airport out here and linking it to this train station, maybe via a shuttle or, or something like that, a tram, I'm not sure yet. We'll have, a, we'll have a, an airport here, and we'll fly people off, and I've had a look around for where to fly people to. Now, Biggleswade and Worthing are quite big cities now. Even though they started last, uh, they really are flourishing. So one thought was to have an airport here, but we've already got a, a cargo airport there. I don't want to put more packs through that, or any packs through that, because it's, quite frankly, very busy as it is, as, as a cargo airport. So I could put a, an airport here, but I'm going to put it between Twickenham and Hyde. Twickenham and Hyde are smaller at the moment. Uh, part of the reason for that is they're not getting as many materials, although Twickenham arguably is. But I think uh, like Twickenham has a good sort of supply chain down to Luggershall, Henley, and conveniently has a train line on the south side here that I could potentially drop um, an airport into and have it already linked up. I could make the trains just stop at another station. So I'm going to fly people from this area. I'm going to have passengers from Hyde and Twickenham go to an airport. And then the airport is going to fly people over to Bradford here. It's not a massive run, but I think it will be profitable. I think there's enough people will want to go from east to west. While we're at it, we're going to link Aylsham a bit better. So what I'd like to do is link Aylsham's train station uh, and have a line going up to Romsey. Romsey's a pretty popular place. It's quite a big city, uh, Romsey. And I think it would benefit from having a train line which swings into this station. And then also, just for the icing on the cake, I thought, why not 
also bring an extra track down into Bradford. So we branch off down to Bradford here. And this train line that we have running between Princess Risper and Aylsham, I thought maybe we'll just bring that through to Bradford and just go like that with it, because it's quite a fast train. That will allow Princess Risper not only to connect with Bradford, but also to get to the airport as well. And they can also then go up to Romsey. So I think, hopefully, that will change the fortunes of quite a few of the cities here. So that's quite a lot to get on with. So let's get started here. So first of all, um, I think, actually, do we have the train line go all the way to Bradford or do we have it going up to Romsey? That is a difficult question. I might just have a shuttle here and have that train line go all the way through. And here's why. Because that line comes in to this track here. And this track can easily be extended up to Romsey. So I think we'll have Romsey as the shuttle down to Princess. Uh, so not the shuttle. To, uh, the, the line down to Princess will be from Romsey and the shuttle will be over to Bradford, I think. That's the way we'll do it. So the first problem is... Uh, let's have a look at Romsey and see what's going on over here. Looks like we've got at least one spare platform. Uh, we could either nick this one here or that one there. I would probably... We need to jump onto this bridge as well because we need to get up on this bridge and then branch off this way. That's, we want to come in that way because quite a lot of ele elevation here. So I think we'll have to start off by building some track along here which will be our branch off and then we'll come down through here um, and at that point we need to decide where we're going in I think the easiest thing might be to go into here and then diamond our way in and just use the other platform that's not being used that's probably the easiest way of doing it so we'll build that because there's a, a line, this one here is already using it. So we'll take this other platform. Um, right, let's extend that. Okay. Now, our target is here, and the elevation change is quite substantial. Is this road... Oh, my God. One second. Okay, that's an awful lot of people trying to get out of Aylsham who are driving up to Romsey, so there's a huge demand. Right, so this train line should probably do very well indeed. Crikey, I hadn't spotted that one. Um, right, let's nick this here. Let's see how we get on. If we try and connect to that to see what it thinks of it. Uh, let's see, so we're going to build a tunnel through there. 240. It's not a bad speed. Quite like that one. That's a good choice. My only concern is this section of tunnel being slightly unnecessary. That is quite an elevation change. Um, we'll keep the tunnel just because it makes it interesting. We could just terraform that away, but I think we'll just leave it. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I think there's a bit of a gradient on it, but... That's to be expected because we are climbing right up here. Uh, let's build that bar. Okay, I'm not so keen on what's going on this. Might have to just delete that. See if it'll do it a bit nicer. If we build it. There you go, that's better. Sometimes the order that you build things in makes the difference. Okay, and then straight into here. Oh, it doesn't like that. That just messed something up. Train 31. I think it just got slightly confused by why I did. Let's just turn it around and be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's signal that up and we should be able to get this going pretty much straight away. So we'll have a signal after the diamond there. Then we'll follow it through. Where does it end? It ends at that diamond quite nicely. That's pretty cool. Then we'll just put them on the way back. And then we need to reconfigure the line. Okay. Now this line's losing a lot of money anyway, so it really doesn't matter. As long as we've got a high-speed train, the BR103. Yeah, that is a high-speed train indeed. Right, so let's see. Princess Risper to Aylsham, and then after Aylsham, 
you need to go to Romsey. After Romsey, you need to come back to Elsham and then go down to Princess Risborough. Cool. And I think what we'll do, I know we're losing money anyway, but I don't think that's anywhere near enough trains. So we'll just add another two. So we've got four going through there now. So that's already that's going to connect Ailsham to Romsey. So hopefully, if we look at Romsey, this number here, I'm kind of expecting that to start to go upwards, given what we've just done. That's already gone to 0, to 1, to 2%. So it's starting to pick up now. Just make sure it goes on its way correctly. Actually, it's on the wrong platform. Uh, one second. So this one needs to be on platform 1, I think. No, 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 3. There we go. That's better. Yeah, otherwise that would get... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> put that on 2 and put that on 3. There we go, that's better. Otherwise we're going to be twisting over for no reason at all. Cool. It's a good job to check that. Sometimes the auto configuration isn't great. Speed 45, 24 packs. The real tell will be if we start to see people here wanting to go back the other way. Elsham to Princess. None. Nobody. Not a person yet. However, there's an awful lot of people trying to get the bus here and failing miserably. Which makes me think there's not enough vehicles on that or they're getting stuck. Let's see one sat there at the lights. I've got bus lanes, but it's quite a long journey. I think what we'll do is there's seven vehicles. Blimey. Um, we'll replace them with the streetcar because that's available to us now. And then we'll add another three onto that because that's quite a lot of stoppage going on there. And I think this problem is going to get a bit worse in a minute. So hopefully that will give us some capacity. The Lee Romsey buses are 500,000. That is a very, very long journey. Is that even necessary anymore, I wonder, that bus journey? The trouble is, if you want to get from Romsey to Lee, you can't do it direct on the train, so you would then have to get the train down to Bradford and then get the Bradford train back up to Lee, which may well be quicker than what's going on. Frequency is pretty good, but it is losing a lot of money. There's just not really the demand. By the look of it. Yeah. I think we'll just scrap the whole line at this point. Um, people can find the way across the network a different way, so I think we'll just trash that. Not needed anymore. I think there's too many alternatives going on. That's why it's not profitable. So we'll save ourselves half a million a year. Anyway, right. We've got lots to do here, so let's crack on. I'm thinking we'll build the airport here. Now, I'm conscious of the orientation because we don't want to be overflying anybody, any city. We want a passenger airport. A uh, single runway will do for now. Now, can we and should we orient it like this and try and get it straight connected to the train line? I think we can. If we make this wider, that will benefit us. Let's get that train out of the way. Come on, mate, shift. Come on, on you go. Of course, another one comes in. Right, we'll pause it. Configure. Let's see. What I'm looking to do is just make it as big as we can. so we don't have to expand it later because it will be difficult to expand later. And we'll put a PAX platform. Like that. And why not have a fancy... Actually, let's put the... Um, let's put one of these in as well. And then we'll do that. Just to make it a bit like a new expansion, which is a effectively what it is. 
Uh, and then we'll have passenger buildings. We'll have massive new areas for packs coming in to the airport. Just because it'll look very grandiose. Like that. Cool. Uh, we'll smooth that ground out. And then we'll build a big road. Like so. And then we'll see how that looks when we put this down. Okay, it is going to be on the flight path. Uh, right over this train station. This is going to be very interesting, actually. <laughs> and also that factory. But if you build it like that, it's going to come on in a very low approach over this station, which is going to be pretty interesting, to say the least. All right, let's try and smooth that out. I'm not so worried about this approach here. I think that'll be fine, but I am slightly concerned about that one. I think they'll get pretty low over that. Let's configure, and then we'll add a second runway. Okay. Cool. Now, the advantage of that, of course, is that that is now connected to the train station. The disadvantage is it's not connected to the bus station. Because if you click on that, it is definitely not connected to that because it doesn't transfer through here properly. The distance is too big. That could be an issue because it means nobody's going to get the bus and be able to get straight onto the plane, which is a real sad situation. And that's a very hard one to fix. Very hard one to fix. Um, because it just relies on the, on the distance of the route from here through these connections to there. It doesn't look... It's probably very close. But the game doesn't really give me enough visibility to make a decision about how I could fix that. Um, of course, anybody coming in on the train is fine. They can get the bus and they can get the plane. It's just people coming in on the bus specifically can't get to the airport. And I don't think there's an easy way to fix that. We could try dropping a road under here, you know, cheesing our way through it, which sometimes works um, if we can, if we can dig down quickly enough. I don't specifically like doing this, but the game is not exactly helping, is it? So we'll try it. If we do that and then we come straight up to there, does that give us enough? No. When you click on this, you can see the distance. Um, if you watch the outside of this road here, you can see the highlight gets to about here, but it just not doesn't quite make it to the bus station. It's it's really close. You can see it coming up to there, but not quite there. Is it possible that we could extend the bus station a bit to make this work? Let's try it. Just configure this and we'll... Construction angle not possible. Okay. One second. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Configure that. Well, 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 this is very interesting. It wouldn't let me delete that because of that. That's so bizarre. I'm going to have to um, reconfigure this all together, I think. What we'll do is we'll steal some from that side and put it over this side is what we'll do. So we'll make this longer and try and reach the airport as it were. It's 
probably going to make it worse, actually. Do you know what? I think I might just trash this whole thing. Which I probably won't let me because it's got vehicles in it. Yep. So what I'm going to have to do now... Uh, what I'm going to have to do now is... Allow these vehicles to exit. <laughs> so unpause it. Let the vehicles exit. And then we'll trash the bus station and try and rebuild it. So that it actually works. Um, interesting challenge, this one. There's not a lot of space around either. Come on, come on, come on, get out of there. Okay, and... Go. I wasn't expecting to have to do this. Let me try and figure this out. Right, so bus station, building. Let's see, we'll do that. We will bring it as close to the road as possible. Now, if I orient it that way, we can have the exit kind of pointing like that, can't we? And hopefully bridge the gap that way and give ourselves more room on the way in as well. So we'll try that. We'll build it like this. We'll have the entrance there. that enough to have an exit there? Let's try that. Now, does that actually work? I don't think it does. No. It's still desperately close, but not quite there. That's a real, real shame. I don't think there's much we can do about that. You can see how how close it gets, but it just doesn't quite work. The only other option is if we can try and make this road a bit shorter somehow, which is tricky given the distances involved. But if we can, you know, effectively go across that or something, if we can go like this. This kind of thing might work. Looks interesting design structure, isn't it? Um, but if you do that, and then that, and that. You, you can look, you can literally see, you can see the path is making it to here. We would have to get that station there for this to work. That's how close that is now. That's unbelievable. Actually, let's try... Getting rid of that road. And we'll just try moving over one more notch. It is so desperately close to working. insanely frustrating I have to say um, other options to try and put the bus station somewhere else hmm okay I had a little think and a little play this is what I came up with I decided to just completely move the bus station from here and just punt it over here uh, that way we could definitely link up to the uh, airport and the train station and everything falls into place nicely obviously I had to delete that and then reconfigure these lines so these these two bus lines now will come over here not a biggie, it just means that buses have to travel this extra bit to drop people off, but I think that will work better having the bus directly connected to the airport. So that was a bit more fast than I thought it would be, so sorry about that. Let's think about the second airport now. Now, I want it between Hyde and Twickenham, so what I'd like to do is have a train station here somewhere that again connects. So the first thing we need to figure out, let me just try flatten this ground a little bit. 
The first thing we need to figure out, figure out, actually it might be on the south side. There's more room down here. Yeah, let's put it down here. Is how to orient the, um, how to orient the airport so that we don't have any emission problems. And I think as long as we keep it like that, I think we should be okay. I don't think any takeoff and landings will hit Twickenham and Hyde. So that should be fine. So I reckon what we can do is come in here. We'll just pause it briefly and trash this bit of track. And build ourselves a train station. Let's do that. Smooth that out. Build ourselves a train station. Uh, buildings. Cargo, no. Passenger, yes. Uh, 320 high speed. Hmm, tracks. I'll say four. We'll just do four. That's too many. We don't need four. We only need two, really. But we'll say four just so we've got the extra capacity if you want it. The only question then is, do we want the capacity on the north side or the south side? We're not likely to use the north side, so we'll keep it on the south side. And we'll just try and orient that to point towards. Even shift M and N isn't quite um, enough detail. So we want to do that. But we want it to be over here effectively. So I think that's probably about the best we're going to get. And then we'll just connect those two. So we need to delete some track back to make this one work. We won't put a diamond interchange in. I don't think we'll need it. We're not. Unless we end up shuttling later. I don't think we will. But there you go, that should be fine. And then we just need to put a bit of road in here. Uh, let's think. If we put a nice wide bit of road like that, that'll give us a bit of breathing space. And then we can come in with this. Go and pause it now. We can come in like that and connect this up. And I think we'll add the second runway, but we'll put the approach lights on the other side. We'll get rid of those. Oh, no, let's move them. We'll do it that way around. There we go. Smooth that out. Fantastic. Right. I think we're ready to start doing that stuff. Um, let's see. Train line. The other thing I wanted to have a shuttle into here, didn't I? So we need to think about that. Let's have a quick look at the lines. Okay, so we've got spare capacity over on this side. I think we should be able to branch a shuttle off. The question is, how do we want to get from the train line from here over to Aylsham? We have a depot, but it's kind of in the way. Might have to just trash that and run some line past here, I think. And then bring it in the... What do we want to bring it into? That's the question. Annoyingly, the PAX platform is on that side, which means we are going to have to cross over this thing. So if we stay on the outside of it there, then we could, at some point here, cross over and come this way. Yeah, I think that should work. Let's get rid of this. We'll need to put something back in its place, but we'll get rid of that for now. Those signals don't need to be like that anymore. We'll get rid of those. Okay, let's start off by figuring out the track coming out of here. So we'll take... It has to be this one, because that's a... Oh no, that's the, that is a PAX platform, it's just an old style one. Um, what do we like to do in the future? I don't think it really matters. We'll take the, we'll take the modern one, we'll take this one. Come out like that. A 
fill that to there. And then what we need to do is effectively cross over. Like that. So we want to do this. And then we want to do that. And then we'll have to put some signals in. Bring that all the way down to there like that, and then we'll just blend that in. Lovely. Okay. Let's quickly smooth that out. So that gets us onto the other side of the track bar. Just need to put some signals on it. Hopefully, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully, the contention won't be too much. Uh, but now we're on the outside, we can quite easily find our way in to the platform. We want to be coming into that one. So again, we'll just branch to the outside. Cool. And then last thing is just get smooth and then we just have the signaling to deal with so we shall start off just after this branch here put it on auto stick like that. we'll see how far that takes us that takes us to here so we'll reciprocate back the other way and then we need to worry about this so for this one, we want to have a signal just before the join, and then just after coming back like that. And then this one, we want to have it just before the join. Same coming this way. Same coming out that way. And then back like that. duplicate okay so that is now a contested area now the question is how do we get trains out the depot onto both of these both of these lines um we could put something I'm trying to think where we're not likely to build later we could feed it from a depot here actually we could feed both of them that yeah if we put a depot like this this is getting a bit creative but if we put a depot like that we can join here put a signal just before the join like that and then we can also loop back this way that quickly lets us punt trains onto either one right okay so we can now define a shuttle from Aylesham to Bradford which we'll do next so well that's a rail line we're gonna go Bradford Aylesham packs what color should we make this one dark purple yeah okay sold Let's see, we want to go from here to here. Nice. And then we just need to decide what train to put on there. We'll start it off, we'll just stick an MPU on there just to get it all going. Uh, maybe like a Mirage will do it. 57 capacity, more than I think it will need. Um, nice dark purple. I'll we'll have another one. Okay, that'll just get the line. Nope, unable to find path. Missing electric track. 
path has been found, but one or more steps of the path are not electrified. Not electrified? Okay, did I have something? What on earth? Oh, hello. What's this? Wow, that is interesting. That is interesting indeed. Let's try that again. I have no idea. Because I just added that. So somehow I managed to add non-electrified track. I must have been paying attention. A lot of people are suddenly running away from the platform. Hmm. Right, let's get the planes going, shall we? Because that's the cool thing. And also we need to have um, this train stop at this station. Which, of course, will slow it down a little bit. Let's rise to my maximum speed. Hide Henley Packs, managed line. Here we go. So we're going to go hide. So when you come out of hide, instead of going to Twickenham South, you are now going to make an extra stop at Hide East. And on the way back, after Twickenham South, one second. Hide, Hide East. Stop 7 is South. And then it goes to stop 1. We'll just all... Stop to the three, four, back to Twickenham South. Back to Hyde East, it doesn't like that. This train just completely freaked out. Interesting, because it was a, it's a valid line, but for some reason, um, that train freaked out. It didn't, know, it didn't know how to turn around and go back to the correct platform let's just see if it behaves okay and then we can define the line so this is going to be hard to bradford i guess aircraft so we'll have a p hide bradford x that will go from here to here and i think i might make that a different color Go with a red. There we go. Dark green. Need more colours. There we go, that'll do. It's different. So we can see the flight path. Looks pretty good. Let's drop in a cheap aircraft initially. And try and get the line running. So we could stick in something small. Like a 737 might do it. Just need to establish the line initially. Um, 1.4 million. Let's just chuck a couple of them out there. See how they get on. Now, it will be interesting to see what effect this has um, on passengers in and around the connecting cities like Hyde and Twickenham. Like, are we going to see people suddenly pouring over here to get to there to fly down to Bradford? Because right now they can't get to Bradford. Like, it's very, very hard for anybody right now to get from Twickenham to Bradford. There's just no way over there. Um, you know, they have to get on a train or something this direction to Biggleswade. Biggleswade's connected ultimately down to Bradford. But Ludgersold, Twickenham and Hyde are not really connected to these two cities at the north. Not by packs, anyway. So it's very hard for somebody from Twickenham to get to Bradford at all. I'm hoping this will um, this will solve that. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's fine. Thought there was a hold up. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's uh, speed up time a little bit and see if anything starts to change. While we're looking at, or while we're waiting for that to happen. I'm just going to quickly go down to Princess Risper and see if it's had any effect. Um, okay, it has had an effect. So at the start of this, this was on 700, wasn't it? And this was like on 12 or something pitiful. Whereas now, more people are getting on the train. Because they can now go all the way up through Aylsham up to Romsey. Which is good. 
A lot of people here want to go to Rumsey as well, as expected. And I'm hoping that people will come back from Rumsey. And I'm also hoping that this, this madness will decrease now. Because that is an awful lot of people. Uh, going from Aylsham to Romsey via a very old road. And given that they've now got a high-speed train, I really don't know why they would. Unless there's something broken that I can't see. Which I don't think there is. Maybe it's the walk. Maybe they just don't like walking from the bus station. Maybe they just hate that walk. Maybe we should just get them like little buggies or something. Just so they don't have to walk that extra bit. Lazy. So lazy, aren't they? Anyway, the other thing is, now the line's established. Have we got enough trains on it? 66 packs, that's full. What's the frequency on this line? It's 114 seconds. The income, look at that. The income is, is picking up big time. Fourteen million. Four vehicles. I don't want to put any more on there. It's too early to start sticking more vehicles on there. But I think that's starting to have an effect. My big question now is... Can we get passengers? Look, ah, oh, there you go, Bradford. So, that's great. That's absolutely great. We've got people now going over to Bradford from Aylsham. This is going to help improve um, Aylsham's fortunes. Because they've got so many more places to go. What we don't have yet, though, is... Oh, we have two. We don't have many packs down at the airport. But we'll just give it some time and see if that changes. Bradford really is becoming the hub. I knew it would, but it really is becoming a hub. Three and a half thousand people here, and it's so well connected. Sadly, I don't think two people are going to be able to pay for that, but unless the tickets are very, very expensive. But people are starting to get dropped off now at the train station, which means they must have come in. They must have come in on the plane somehow, which I haven't spotted. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll just let that establish for a bit, and then we'll have another quick look at it. Word is slowly getting out um, in terms of passengers. I think there's always going to be more people flying out of Bradford just because the sheer volume of people in Bradford and the connections of it. So that it's always going to be a one-way thing, but at the moment, if we click on here, you can see we've now got 54 people, which considering these planes can only carry, what, 20, uh, there's already some pretty good demand flying back but at the moment you know financially it's not doing very well but it should change uh, over time it will change I think uh, it's almost at the point where it's breaking even this is now going to be going back fully loaded so even if it can only fly fully loaded from Bradford and it comes back nearly empty it will still break even and it's still worth doing just to get that east-west um, PAX link going but I think over time it will um, it'll start to make a profit if we go and look at the other airport now um, People are starting to build up over here as well, so word is definitely getting out. I think it's gonna it's gonna make money both ways. Yeah, it is. It 100 is. Look. So yeah, it's already working. We'll probably have to put more planes on that line uh, just to make good money. But yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty happy with how this has all gone. We, we set out to do a few things, connect to Aylsham up better, and it's now connected to uh, Romsey to Bradford. And Bradford's now connected all the way over to the west side. So in terms of connections and what we've done today, I think it's pretty cool. And finally, just looking at Princess Risperer again. That's definitely improved. Uh, this is down from 700 down to like 300. So hopefully we're taking some of that congestion off the road as well. Not that we really need, you know, we don't really care about it as such because we're using bus lanes anyway. I also added that section of road just to you know, alleviate some traffic over here. But yeah, it's uh, it's all looking fine at the moment. Well, guys, that is it for another episode of Transport Fever. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit like on the video if you enjoyed it. Also, consider 
I can tell your friends about the channel and the videos and the series. Leave your comments, any suggestions, thoughts, whatever, in the uh, comments below. I will read them. Our PAX line has started to take off. I think this is the first... Uh, nice pun. I think this is our first PAX line on this map, isn't it? We've done cargo aircraft, but we've not actually done uh, PAX aircraft. So that's, that's really cool. Quick look. You should see it's now completely full, and the finances should start to kick off quite nicely. In it goes. Come on. There you go. Docking. Lovely. Yep, there you go. Brilliant. And there's plenty of people lining up to go back. Lots of them. We might have to upgrade the aircraft next time. Anyway, that's it for me. Take care, guys. Happy constructing.